This is one man and his Mustang.com bringing you a video to the insight on some of the products that I'm currently using on the restoration of my 1966 Ford Mustang V8 289 Coupe. Being new to the restoration game, I was recommended Frost and I've been using them ever since I've got the car, which was in the summer of 2011. Right, here's a selection of some of the products that I've currently got from Frost and I'm using at the moment. I write about them on my blog and I do reviews and this is the very latest one I've done on the blog. Have a look at that and see what you think. Uh, Dynatrol 6030, what an incredible product that is. Right, I shall be talking about each one of these products very quickly. Uh, this was the first one, Plus Gas. Now if you use WD-40 you want this stuff, this stuff knocks box off of it, goes on and it is really good, thoroughly recommended. Right, this is Frost's own um, item onto the market, it's called uh, Carb Cleaner, does exactly what it says on the tin, removes all grease and other accumulating deposits, uh, I've only used it in a limited style at the moment, but it does seem to be uh, very good at what it does. Okay, Duroblock considered by many to be the Rolls Royce of sanding blocks and I must say I agree. Quite expensive but you get what you pay for and it's a 100% EVA rubber and they really are quite sturdy, quite strong. I've used them a few times and I'll show you a second what but they are a great sanding block. Uh, various shapes, sizes uh, to do pretty much basically everything well recommended All right POR 15 now this is a three stage process uh, it's a little bit more trickier than others not quite as simple but once you actually use it properly you get uh, fantastic results uh, there's a little tip for you if you're actually going to use this stuff don't put the lid straight back on the tin because if you do you'll never get it off Put a little piece of plastic underneath the top and it allows you to open it again in the future. This is what the um, previous parts of the bodywork are usually looking like, all pretty uh, mashed up and not very good to look at to say the least. And once I've actually used the Dynatrol and I've used the POR kits, uh, you end up looking something like this. Unfortunately, you can't really see just how good that is, but I uh, take my word for it. It's smooth and it looks really good. Right, this piece of bodywork is the stone bumper guard, which is in parts one and two on the blog on how I got it from what it was to what it is now. Part one is the underside, which is the POR15, and part two is the surface, which is the Dynatrol 6030 filler. Now the underside I used Marine Clean. This is uh, diluted down to one part to five or one part to ten and that will get rid of all the oil and grease off the surface. Shortly after that you use the Prep and Ready. Uh, this is applied and it's used for ten to thirty minutes depending on how severe the rust is. Now before you actually apply the paint the surface must be absolutely dry. The paint itself goes on uh, two to three layers is what they recommend. This one's actually got two uh, thin layers I put on to start with so you can see where you're going from and once it's gone on this will form a non-peel, non-crack surface and should last for quite a few years and I must say it's pretty good stuff. So here she is, she's in the garage. She needs quite a bit of work doing to her but it's mainly cosmetic. Structurally it's quite sound and it's a solid car. Uh, it's been completely rewired and the engine now sounds just like a Mustang should. Okay, this was a bit of an experiment. This is the Granville Rust Cure which is uh, a bit of an alternative to POR but I wanted to see what it was like. Uh, it's gone on a little bit bubbly. Uh, it's only had one coat but there again I didn't really pay much attention to it. I just slapped it on to see what it would do but it stopped the rust dead. Again, I used the Granville rust treatment under the hood. Uh, this has only had a single treatment. Uh, that seems to have stopped it dead. And as you can see, the opposite side is not looking too good. So it seems to be doing its job. Quite pleased with that stuff. I'm going to 
try a few more things with it just to see uh, how good that actually is. I've done the step by step process of where I've used some more POR15 and this is the inside of the fenders. Uh, not that you can see a great deal but it's gone on and this stuff is really really good. Okay one of the last things I wanted to show you is the POR patch that's this stuff it's really uh, POR in a tube and this stuff goes like a liquid steel. Uh, I've put some underneath here just as um, a trial to see what it was like and it is set like concrete. Brilliant stuff. Okay so that's the end of the one man and his mustang.com video uh, just giving you a quick review of some of the products that I'm using for frost drop by to the blog leave me a message or follow me and let me know what you think. Mustang.com. signing off.